I'm going to put some rules that are, for me are very important in my transition defense, okay? So right now I need four offensive players, four white guy, four white shirts, three black shirts. I need a big guy on the black, okay? And one ball, okay? Give me one ball. One ball, please. Okay. Um, black is in offense. White on defense. Okay. You are my big guy, no? You play inside. Big guy, come in there. Okay. Okay. No, no, you're in. You're in. Four against three. Okay? Okay. We'll do the exercise. I explain what I want out of this. Okay? White, I'm going to shoot the ball. You have eight seconds to score. Eight seconds to score. Okay? Ready? Okay? Go! One, two, three, four. Five, six, stop. One more time. Very good. We're a great defensive team. I don't know what I'm explaining. Four and three cannot even shoot the ball. What's wrong? Four and three. Guys, you're not going to score? You got to score. Four and three. Eight seconds. Good. Go. Good. 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 Rebound, very good, one more time. Very good, White, very good. Ready? Rebound, okay, defense. Good, good, okay, stop, right there. What I want out of this exercise, uh, name. Nico. Nico, like Mirotic, Nico Mirotic, Nico, Nico is my first big guy. He needs to run and protect the basket. And I made the offense try to score quick. I give him eight seconds, six, but the first goal of this exercise is Nico has to protect the basket. First big guy got to lead our transition defense. Running, running his ass off. Okay, Nico, they cannot score layups on you. You got to run quick. Okay, one more time. Ready? Good. Rebound, go. Back, Nico, protect the basket. Nico, protect the basket, very good. Okay, rebound, good. Okay? Good enough. Because I just want to make this point where it's very important for me. We're going to cross the board for sure, but our first big guy got to protect the basket. So we, from the beginning, from when they get the ball, we already have somebody protecting underneath. Okay? Let's bring another black guy, another black shirt. Not four. Not four. Black, black shirt. Okay? And we're doing the same thing. Yeah, perfect. Okay? Same thing. Rebound. Rebound. Good. Protect the basket. Good. 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 Ah, too much time. You need to run. One more time. But Nico, very good. Nico, very good, very good. I cannot say anything, great. One more time. Rebound, easy rebound for you. Here, go! Run back, Nico, protect the basket, very good. Good, good, perfect. Okay? Same objective, okay? 
I'm going to give the ball to one guy. If I give it to him, you touch baseline and run back. Four on three. And then you run back. Four on four. Okay? Ready? Go here. Match up. I don't mind this match up. Ready? Go. But stop, 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 stop. You do it. Nico, you run back. I want to kill you, but with a little bit of time. Okay? Ready? Go. That's right, go. Good. Nico, protect the basket. Very good. Very good. 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 Stop. Very good. Okay? Very good. One more time. How about if the other, the other two guys run back? Don't stay at half court. Help him. Run quick back to our defense and then come up. But first spring back. I'll, I know you already spring back about two hours ago. Okay? Ready? Go. Good. Nico, protect the basket. Very good. Nico, protect the basket. Very good. Keep playing. Keep playing. Good. Good. Rebound. Very good. Okay? Five on five. One more. Two more. Let's go. You know the exercise? Okay. Then run. Bravo, Nico. Very good. Okay. Stop. Okay. Next objective, next goal that we really need in our transition defense. We gotta get away the ball from the middle. So we can create a strong side and a weak side. Probably you're not gonna be able to do it on three on three. You have to go four on four or five on five. Okay? So sprint to have we have our big guy running, Nico's gonna protect us. Our other four guys, you gotta run back, okay? And somebody has to get the ball and try to send the ball to the side, okay? We're on, miss, we're on disadvantage because one guy is coming behind, okay? So make sure that you try to send the ball to, to the other side, okay? Ready? Go. Keep the ball, run back, good. Keep the ball, good. Good, very good, okay. Good, Nico, perfect. I don't want to say anything to Nico. Nico protect the basket, very good. Then he should go and get his man, okay? But it was good what he did because we stopped the first transition. Okay, one more time. Ready? Go. Spring back, good, good, perfect. Weak side, okay, perfect. Get it. So we, ha we, s we have our first big guy protecting the basket. We sprint to half court to control uh, the situations and receive the offense coming. Second one, we try to get the, way the ball away from the middle to give it to the side so we have clear one strong side, one weak side for the defense, okay? After this, no penetration. So for me, transition, transition defense is the first thing and the first concept that we work on when we think about defense. Next one. I will talk about the ball in the post. Somehow, offense, defense. Two guys, white and black, two guys. Nico and another guy in white. Nico, you for sure. You're in my mind today. Come, uh, guys, I'm not going to kill you, but please try to come quick, okay? Okay, Nico, now you're on offense. You already play good defense, okay? Somehow, ball is come here. He's going to come here. 80% 80, 80 of the teams, I would say even 90%, uh, not 100% because some of them just play pick and roll or other things. But somehow, as coaches, we want the ball here. 
We want the ball here. This is for sure. Because you have a big guy who can play, uh, because you have a mismatch with a point guard and you want to use it, because the other team plays any kind of defense and you want to get the ball inside against the zone, whatever. Here, the ball is going to come. And it's very important knowing how are you are going to defend this. Because it's a real situation that is going to be in the game. Okay? If we're talking about this one-on-one, -on -one, I always say that I don't like one-on-one -on -one try to cut one side as a concept. I don't like to go like this, or I don't like to go like this too much. On one on one. Okay? I think you have to be able to contain him, stay behind, knowing probably where your help is going to come a little bit, but I don't like to be here and just go like this. Okay, help is going to come from the middle. Because I think this is too close to the basket to give an exit. This is too close to the basket to, be, to give an exit to this guy. What I mean, if he shows him this, with just one dribble, take a dribble to the middle, he's ready to score, okay? Show him the other, show him the other way, okay? Too close. So that means, as a concept, that if you try to play different, that flat one-on-one, -on -one, you're going to have to make the other guy, the rest of the team do something. Double, work in and out, whatever, okay? Good. Two more guys, please, quick. Get the ball here. An offense. And get it inside. Pass it. Defense. What's your defense with the ball right there? Good? Not bad. Okay? But now we're saying that he's going one on one. And he knows as a concept that he's not gonna double, he's not gonna he's not he's going one on one, but he has to help him somehow, okay? So I think here you can open it up a little bit and watch both things. Your player and the ball. Okay? And be active on this. Dribble. Fake on the dribble, pass it, put his hand up, and contest. Okay? Do it again, a couple times, slowly, so they can see it. Good, good. Out, good. Again, in, out. Okay, perfect. In, hold it, go to the corner. Good, stop. What I do this? Because if he defends him like this, if he defends him like this, if he moves to all this part of the floor, he's going to be able to come here. He's going to see him, okay? So do the same thing. Stop. In and out. And instead of moving here, he cuts. Okay? So, you're here. You're defending the ball. He's coming. There is a moment where he leaves from this area from the ball. So here you start contact with him, cut. And here I'm playing, normal defense. And then it's not your responsibility, he's going away. If he keeps going away, weak side defense, okay? Do it, do it, um, do it in and out, in and out, walk in and out, slowly, good, in and out, good, in and out, pass it out, pass it out again, pass it in and cut. Cut, remember, hit him, good, perfect. Okay? Two more. Quick. Okay, quick, come here. Same thing. Okay? Do same thing. In and out, in and out, and then cut. When he cut, you replace. Alright, okay. Good? Yeah. No, no, over there. Okay. Just 45 degrees. Cut, 45, stop! Good. Now, what are you doing? Same job he was doing before. In and out. Okay? Okay? Three, uh, another, uh, another two guys, please. Uh, 
up here outside uh, what he did okay in and out in and out cut replace 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 okay good 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 stop go over there a little bit here too okay because the ball is too close to the basket you gotta see both okay this and your man if he goes away somehow you have to go away weak side defense if he leaves half uh, uh, okay do it again you're on weak side okay i'm not worried about weak side now okay i'm worried about this in and out good in and out good cut replace replace in and out in and out good good okay stop the question could be very easy and it happens a lot of times and some players they have it inside because they played it before uh, I'm, I'm i'm playing defense instead of you give it to him pass it inside why not this and some players they they do it and uh, well, it happened to me right now because I have one player who wants to do that. The ball comes inside and he goes like this. He prefers this kind of help. Okay? Why do I don't like this? For two reasons. First, if he's moving to the corner, he's not seeing it. Very difficult for him. Second, give it to him, on the cut, you're almost going to be late. You're not going to have, let's say, time to use your body as well as here. Okay? So, this position when the ball comes inside. Okay? Very good. Very good. Okay, now. Pass it out. Swing it. Dribble it. You screen small to big. Dribble it here. Okay. We said that they want to get the teams want to get the ball close to the basket. So they play small to big. No? They playing for Nico. Nico is the good one here. So Nico is gonna be there. You come here. Come back. How many times we watch this situation? Get in there, get in the box in the box. How how many times we see this? On a game. A lot of times. If you didn't see it, watch Spain play. They play your Pogasol a hundred times during the game. Okay? Small to big. You should normal. Nico is the good player. Screen him and he wants to come here. Okay? So we do this from from the ball on here. We start with the ball here and we do just this. Okay? Do it. Good. Swing it. Good. Okay. Okay. Good. Stop. Perfect. Perfect. This is what I wanted to see. This action. How do we defend this action? This action is going to come. I mean, if you play Maccabi, they play this action for Devin Smith. If you play Panathinaikos, they play this action for the Anantidis. If you play uh, Olympiacos, they play this for Princesses. If you play Real Madrid, they play that for Felipe Reyes. This action is everywhere. I watch my kid, my kid is 16, no? I went to, I went to watch the game, one scrimmage game, I think it was Tuesday. They play this action. So somehow, you have to make sure your team knows how it's going to defend it, okay? Do it one more time, start. Because Nico received the ball. Okay, play it. Good, good, perfect, small to be, very good, start. I cannot say, who's coaching this guy? They do exactly what I do. <laughs> Come back here. Who's, who's the coach? Jaman. Jaman. Very good. We'll be fired soon. <laughs> For any reason. We're coaches. We will be fired. Perfect. This is my rule, too, my concept. Get the ball on the side. Screen. 
Okay? I always cut the low part. I, I never let, I'm defending Nico, and you scream me, I'm you, okay? I don't want this position. I don't want to show this shoulder to this, to this player on the screen. The best screen is when they get you on the shoulder or on the back, okay? Usually on the back, you can react even better, because if he gets me in the back, you should and run, you, I can, you know, fight with him. But if he gets me on my shoulder, then it's difficult because this way is long and this way I'm going late. Okay? So my footwork should be like when Nico starts using this and I want to make sure that he's going to go up. I said I don't want him here. Should be this. That way, if Nico wants to go underneath, try to go underneath. I'm going here. Okay? And I'm sending him to the screen. Okay? Perfect. We do it one more time. Do it slowly so they see it. Good. Good. Do it. Small to be. Remember. Foot work. Very good. Stop. Perfect. Work he did great. Bump. Without the hands, you can make, maybe call for, for, for a foul. Use your body. Change his trajectory. How you say in his, change his way, let's put it this way. Trajectory, trajectory in English exists, his way, okay? That way with, the, with, the, with your bump, make him change his way to go to the box, okay? Do it one more time. Good, box to box, perfect. On the side, send them up, bump in, good, stop. Okay, so we have cleared all this action. Now, the action is gonna come anyhow. Come back to the screen. Come, come, come back here to the bump, and you were, you were defending. Let's say here, and you set the screen, okay? Okay, after, after this, there is two options. Usually, offense is smart, so if he wants to recover this way, Okay, you go to the box, go to the box with the bump. For him, should be easier to overplay. Okay, go to the box, no contact, you can already get in front of him. Okay, but there is a problem, because often it's not a stupid. Go under, go straight to the pick and roll. Oh, stop. He is late for this. Like we said, when we're playing for different situations, we're looking for the box. But if you see you want to cut that play on the box, from that situation, box to box, they go to the pick and roll, reading the defense. Okay? Tomorrow's topics. Uh, Barcelona with Tomic. They play for Tomic here. And they know he's good in the post. Okay, so everybody work to don't let him get the ball in the post. Tomic is smart enough to read it and go to the pick and roll. Okay? So this is what we say that coaches mix situations on defense. Okay? That's why instead of taking this way, you can push him going like this. But never giving him this. Okay? So you just bump him, you go, and I can go here. Okay? Why? Because how many times do you see this? You see this action? How many times you see this? This can kill us, no? But how many times did you see this? So at the end, on your concept, you have to think on the situations that the other teams don't play as much. If I gotta put an example of this, just with, just with this action, it was back on the days. Karl Malone, Jeff Hornacek, Stockton. They didn't need anything else to play an offense, okay? Okay, to finish with the ball inside, 
Uh, Nico, get the ball. What's your name? Gabriel. Gabriel is going to defend Nico. Go up. Defend Nico. Mismatch. So that mismatch situation in that position, we got to create same thing. We got to create a concept that we all know. Okay? So here, our concept is this. I play you, pass it to him. Okay? And play one on one against me. Good. Okay? Now, as soon as he dribbles, you come on that one. Okay? Ready? Good defense. Good. Okay? Do it now. When he dribbles, try to attack the middle and make him turn. Okay? Do it. Pass it. Good. Right, stop, 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 stop. Okay. Here is the tricky mistake. Gabriel went to shoot. Because if you give Nico, give it to him. Don't dribble. Come here. Without the dribble, you go like this, and he comes to help you. Turn, turn around. Right over here. Okay? Like this. Okay? Okay? He's watching too easy. So, we wait for the dribble to make him turn. We wait for the dribble to take, make him turn. Okay? Do it again. Good. Wait for the dribble. Good. Per stop. Perfect. Nico, come on. Gabriel. Again. Between two. Between two then. Wait, now! Good! Nico, substitution. One more time. Very good. Make sure he doesn't shoot the ball. Good, perfect. Okay? Stop, I don't wanna go farther. I just wanna make sure that when the ball gets inside, there is three situations that we have to be worried. One-on-one -on -one situation, box-to-box -box situation, and a mismatch situation. Okay? For me, very important here. When he receives on the mismatch, knowing that the last man is gonna come and we're gonna rotate outside, make sure that when he dribbles, you attack this ball. Okay? You don't make him turn without attacking the ball. Okay? He's, as soon as he puts it on the floor, put it on the floor, you want to attack this ball and make him turn. Try to play back to the basket with dribbles. Dribble. Slowly. Look, he's with the ball on the floor, right here. You go for this. That way, he has to turn, and then we can get him. Okay? Good. After, after he turns, you can go out, and you stay one-on-one, -on -one. okay? Solution after the, after the mismatch. Two, you can stay and double, or, like they're gonna do now, Gabriel is gonna leave, do it, and rotate between, between outside. Mismatch, go, rotate, good, perfect, stop, enough. We saw it pretty good, okay? After the mismatch, something's gonna happen. If it's a big guy doubling underneath, we quickly are gonna be able to rotate outside between outside guys. We have two more points to watch for me, very important. Baseline exits, baseline exits. Uh, we don't work offensively too much for our baseline exits. We don't, and probably, I don't want to say I have the best players shooting out of a baseline exit, but probably one of the best players in Europe shooting out of a baseline exit is AC Carroll. The example is we worked a lot on the defense of the baseline exit. That way improve our offense, okay? And another situation is the pin downs. I consider both things together. We're talking about 
defend the shooter or defend and screen away situation. Okay? Good. I want point guard with the ball on white with his defender, shooter, shooter underneath with his defender and um, big guy here screen. Okay? Quick, please. Okay? Good. Okay. As a concept, okay? You, uh, you're screening my phone. You're screening, aim? Lucas, you're screening Lucas. Okay? So, position, where is the ball? Okay, perfect. Position, where is the ball? Perfect. Okay, so baseline exit. Okay, go ahead, play. Good, good, good. One more time. Come back, get it back, come back, and do it three, three or four times. So they see. Good, good, good. One more time, out, in and out. In and out, one more time, set a good screen, turn. Good, good, perfect. Very good job. Pretty similar work that what we want, okay? We want to make sure that we train his back, avoid the screen, okay? Make sure you trail, okay? Good. For me, this position is very important, but I don't want you to leave this shoulder from this shoulder, okay? I don't like big guys doing this too much. Okay, but it's important you are here to stop the short curve. Okay, but if you go too much, then you create another action here. Okay, so I want to control him, but I gotta give him some help. Okay, perfect. And third thing, you gotta drop with the passer. Okay, when he passes, he passes, change your position and control the long curve. Okay. Let's do it two, like we did it, two or three times in a row. So they see it. You did a very good job, guys. Coach, great. Very good. Again, out. Again, two or three times in a row. Don't jump to the ball. Be closer to the ball. Stop. Give it back. Okay. Do it one more time. Stop. I'll do it for you. Okay. Here, go. And recover. Okay? You're too static here. You have to be closer to the ball and make sure you drop with the pass and then recover to your position. Okay? Do it one more time. Good, good, okay, perfect. Two more big guys to uh, to screen on the other side. Perfect. Now you can go either side. Okay? You can go inside. And you play with dribble. You defend them. Okay? Play in life, more or less. Remember what we said about don't give him the shoulder. Okay? Ready, go. Good. 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 Stop. One more time. More. This is second action. He's the dangerous. He's the one who receiving the ball. Okay? Again. Good. Turn him. Drop on the pass, good, perfect, stop, perfect. You saw, you saw what you just did, you fall on the pass, and then you stop here. No, then recover, he already get it. Yeah. Okay, very good. Do one more time. Uh, what's, what's his name, Lucas? Lucas. Yeah. Lucas, very good. Good, very good, recover. To your, perfect. What is very important on our baseline exit is make sure where he's one he is going to do. He is going to trail him. He is a shooter. So we need to trail him. Okay? But he's going to receive screens. So we have to work on this defense to help him, to make sure that he's going to run after him, but he's not going to curl him. The short curl. Okay? Try the short curl. Now, do it slowly. Slowly. Screen. Short curl. He stops that. Okay? With his body. Like this. Okay? And now try, try to do a, a long uh, curl. 
long curve. Good, perfect, perfect. Okay, that way we involved we involve our passer and we involve our screener on the defense of one guy that should be dangerous if they're putting two screens for him. Okay? Very good. Um, go to the corner. Come here. Here, offense. Okay. This is, let's say, probably my topic yesterday. Pass it to him. Hand off. Good. Stay in the corner. Come and screen. Roll. Screen down. Stop. You see this action. Pin down to the other side. Pass it here. Pass it here. How do you defend this? This screen. Knowing that, that if it's Rudy Fernandez, he's going to go for the dunk. Well, not on this side, on that side. Okay? Okay? Stop. My question is, should we cut, I mean, should we change our concept for this? This is a question that I do myself. At the end, it's an exit. And I, I don't like to change my concept that much. I probably have to change things during the year, for sure. Um, get better, or read your players, what they can do better. But I wouldn't change the concept. I would do the same thing. Pin down, okay? Make sure you cut this way, trailing, short curl, long curl. Okay? Let's do it. We do the handoff first, just to depend. Do the handoff. Pass, handoff, screen now, trailing, short curl, very good. Okay? Very good, very good. Offense, defense, two more guys, please. Uh, do the same thing. Hand off slowly, please. Go ahead. Pick and roll, don't use it. Okay, pass it. Long help. Let's say he's a great player. And we are on this position defensively. Okay? Pass it quick. Pass it quick. You were on defense. You were, you were on the weak side. Okay? So from here, you have to defend him quick. Okay? You come now. We do this. Same thing. Okay? Lucas, pass, uh, pass it quick. Gabriel, pass it quick to him. Okay? Hand off, quick. Good, good, use the pin down. Same defense over there, same defense over there. Pass it, pass it, good, stop. Perfect. Like I said, just think about the, all these situations coming are mixed. Right now, after we were able to stop that pin down with our concept defense. Now here, what do we have? Inside. No? Give it inside. Okay. Mismatch or not? It's not a mismatch, no? One on one. Control your men, weak side. Okay. Ready? Let's do this again. That way we're showing how we mix up situations Offensively, that will come to our concept. Okay, do it. Okay, good, good, pin down, help, recover, good, good. Okay, too much. Uh, okay, good. So, if we're able to defend those exits at the end, at the end, 
it will come to another situation that we already thought about. Let's say inside ball, let's say whatever. No, not whatever. Usually it comes to pick and roll. So I go quick to the pick and roll. It's not the topic today. For me, it's very clear. There is three positions where the pick and roll happens during the game. Middle pick and roll. Okay. Stop it. Don't, don't play. This part of the floor, middle pick and roll. What that means? You don't have weak side. You don't have weak side. You don't have strong side, you don't have weak side. You have to defend this pick and roll, but you cannot say this guy, okay, you're on the weak side, so you help. No, because this guy can come up and triangle or shoot the ball or whatever. So for me, this is middle pick and roll. Okay, give it to him. Pick and roll, okay. This is different. This is side pick and roll. Middle pick and roll, side pick and roll. Good thing about, good thing for us, we got one thing clear. If we want to stop this pick and roll, we can do this. Go there, go there, go there, come here. If we set up this defense, these two guys are not going to score. This is not real, I know. But the action here, it's, let's say, for the defense, it's easier because we can do whatever we want with the weak side. Okay? Come back. It was just, I just wanted to show it. But coaches were much more smarter than this. And we have another pick and roll that is played almost, let's say, very high percentage of the times. Elbow pick and roll, right there. Like the horns. How do you defend this? Middle pick and roll or side pick and roll? Okay? Good. Today we're talking about defense. So we go to the side pick and roll. Give it the ball to him. Okay. When we're playing, <clears throat> I have that topic, no? Uh, defense of the pick and roll. And we talked about nine or eight or nine different ways of defending the pick and roll. <clears throat> I think that it's stupid if you try to play eight or nine ways to defend the side pick and roll. You will drive your players crazy. And this is not our job. A lot of times we talk about this, and I always say on clinics, we're coaches. Players, not, they're not here. If they, they, if they have to pass an exam of how, many, how to defend the pick and roll, they will say, uh, well, depends whatever coach say. No? So if we tell them nine things, it will be harder for them. So make it easy for us too. Decide how do you want to defend your pick and roll. I can go baseline, set the screen, deny the middle, and send in baseline. Almost like a double situation, because I have to use a lot the weak side. I can switch, okay, I can switch, okay, but now I have straight mismatch. I can double, Double it. I have to use the other three players. Okay? I can edge and recover. I can go under. I can push this guy. Not the topic today. Real Madrid, what we want? What we said at the beginning. We want to be aggressive. No? So, and this is something that, that Michael kills me every summer. Why I change this? My first three years in Madrid, I played this. I try to force the guys to the side. Because I have big guys. I have Tomic at the beginning, Begic. I have um, Burusis later on. I have Meiri. So 
I always think, I always thought that if we could, if we put enough pressure outside and we send these guys against our big guys, we're gonna be okay. Because with all this pressure from the outside guys and all this mobility and this kind of read, where for example Rudy is great off the ball, we were forcing the defense to do whatever they don't want to do. We cut away the middle, we, couldn't, we didn't let them go to the other side. So for us, side, side pick and roll defend like this, it was very effective. Very effective. We only had one little problem. When they went like this, dribble, no, no, and instead of rolling, come here. This pop. And we have this problem. And we have two ways of solving it. Or switching, or be even more aggressive. Double team and rotate all the way. Okay? Good, come back to the middle pick and roll. I did this for three years, and it worked very good. I have middle teach, but this year the team, the team changed it a lot. I have different players, probably quicker, not as much leapers, so we decided to switch that. But we wanted to keep the same idea and the same intensity. What well, we did with this, okay, we want to attack the ball on the side pick and roll. So let's double it. Let's double it. Okay, perfect. Stop it. What, what do I um, win with this? What was my message? First message. What was your name? Alex. Eh? Alex. Alex. Alex won't score. Alex won't score. Okay? So, when this pick and roll, this side pick and roll start for, the, for my team was, okay, we're doubling Alex. So we have one thing clear. Alex was not gonna score. So if Alex is double team and he's not gonna score, pass it. That's another problem, but Alex is not scoring. Okay? Middle pick and roll. Same. When we, was, when we said Alex was on the side, the job of the other three guys, it was, we said it was going to be much easier. They have to, they were working on the weak side and they will have to recover when the ball flies out from Alex. Middle pick and roll is different. Because here, you're, you don't have weak and strong side. All the other three guys have to work a little bit on that triangle thing, okay? What I always ask them is, get a step higher. Okay? Higher. Higher, put pressure here. Even higher. We said from the beginning when we talked about our concept, our idea, we want to give, put pressure, we want to create deflections, we want to steal balls. Sometimes we receive dunks part of the business, but we want to create situations where we can get the ball back. So, message, Gabriel, Gabriel, no? Gabriel is not gonna score. Play the screen, double tip. Okay? Because they have the ball in the position where it's more difficult to defend, middle. Okay, so we will double in uh, Gabriel. Okay, I'm not going much Longer on this, because today is not the, let's say, the chapter of the topic, pick and roll. So we decide to be aggressive on the ball and work on the rotation, but be aggressive on the ball. We recovered that from, from the years before where, where we were forcing into the side and we were being very aggressive to the side and we were, um, we were 
making the other team making mistakes, but we lost that kind of aggressively. We lost that kind of, uh, let's say, ability closer to the rim. So we decided to change our pick and roll defense. <clears throat> okay. After that, we decide, okay, everybody knows we're gonna double. So we have to mix that. We cannot go in double all the time. Because, okay, Gabriel is a Spanulis. He knows he's gonna get double. No? So Spanulis do this. Pass it out. And you have four great players playing against three. Printesis who can shoot the three. Slokas who can shoot the three. Lojewski who can shoot the three, but you have a big guy here that's gonna dunk the ball, Dunstone or whoever. So, okay, we don't want Spanulis to, give it to him, to score. But maybe we gotta do some other defense that he's not able to read. So we, do, we use a lot of switching, okay? So screen, and switch. Okay, perfect. Read. Who's defending you? Okay? What you do what you would do? Go inside. Yeah. Perfect. This. Get out of here. Turn around. Don't worry about the ball. You're dead. He's gonna kill you inside. You get him. You're bigger than him, no? You get him and you get him. So we worked a lot on situations that our concept to defend the pick and roll where decide, it's gonna, decide first if it's gonna be a side pick and roll or a middle pick and roll or an elbow pick and roll. Half clear what do we want out of the pick and roll? We want aggressiveness, so we decide to double. We decide to be aggressive with the guy on the ball. Don't let him penetrate, make sure he comes out, make sure he doesn't, he's not gonna, um, gonna attack you or create something out of his dribble, he's gonna create something out of his pass. Okay? Good. Um, but after that we said, okay, we cannot go only with this because teams are gonna read it. So we use a lot, switch between uh, any position on the pick and roll. Why? Because I had a, a guys outside that were pretty good defending guys with the ball. Marcus Slaughter, Machuli, Sayon, Felipe, uh, even Mary could do it pretty good. So we find out how to take the pick and roll situation to another concept for us. At that time, if we see this, a mismatch will come, either inside or outside, but it will come, okay? Just, as a, just an example, very important, okay? Come back as a transition and you come as a pick and roll. Transition defense, let's say we're established. Nico is defending, okay, we're established, so they're playing five on five. Nico defend here. This is what we said about offense. They're on transition offense, and they mix it. They go with a pick and roll at the beginning of the possession, okay? Here's where we look for our tricky let's say, tricky things that we decide. For example, as a rule, how many times do you see this? I call it the Lithuanian transition. Pick and roll, pass it, cut, 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 uh, Lucas, cut. No, no, you stay there, stay there. Cut, pick and roll, Pasa. Come up. Pass. Cut. Pick and roll. You saw this transition offense a lot. Probably Lithuania is gonna play this, <laughs> this European Champions for sure. They have it. They play very good. They go transition, pick and roll, side pick and roll, side pick and roll, side pick and roll, so they have patience enough to play that. Okay. If they want to play that, my, my question is, okay, 
Do they want to attack this pick and roll? Do they really want to attack this pick and roll? No. They want to move you around. So for us, in our concept, we introduce things that can be uh, rules. For example, pick and roll and transition. What do we want to do? Don't play it. Start the pick and roll, leave, go back, don't play it. If he shoots it, he shoots it. Okay, if Sasa Djordovic were still playing instead of coaching, probably I wouldn't do this. But sometimes you introduce tricks into your concept that at the end they're made up, they're, they're rules. Okay, and probably those tricks are because you're watching what's the tendency, something that we will talk tomorrow, what's going to be the tendency of the way the other teams are playing. Okay, well, and now we go finally with the controversy that Michael likes. We have this, discussed too much this, during this summer. Okay. Ball, get, get in the post, open up. This. You're on the weak side, okay, so you're more or less here. So let's say any action came. And Gabriel penetrates. This way. Help. Pass it out. Okay, you're in and out. Pass it to the corner. Okay? You stay there. Okay? So we're going to play live from here. Okay, from there. Ball can come here. You play one on one. You can do whatever you want. What, what are you good in? Shooting? Maybe. Huh? Maybe. Maybe? Okay. We're playing live, okay? Ready? Go. Go. Very good. Next, do it, do it one more time. Stop, 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 stop. I just want this action, and then if he creates something, you shoot it. Okay? Sorry, I was here. My fault. No problem. No problem. Okay? Ready? Go. 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 Very good. Okay? Good. One more time. Uh, you're not. Go! Good! Good! Okay, again. Do it one more time. Wait. Shoot. Every time. Catch it. Shoot. Ready? Go! Okay. Good shot again. Do it again. Same. Do it again. Okay. Do it again. Do it again. How many times are, gonna let him, are you going to let him shoot the ball? You're late, but uh, let's say he, if he's JC Carroll, how do you defend it? He's J, do you know JC Carroll from Real Madrid? No? Tell me a great German shooter. What's the name of Bayern Munich? Safarsik. If it's Safarsik, he's Safarsik. Okay? How would you defend Safarsik? Eh? Okay? One on him, don't let him shoot. Okay? Ready? Go! Good! Perfect! Stop! Okay. Very good. Safarsi didn't shoot the ball. That was what we wanted. Okay. We saw like eight actions where. Um, what's your name? Where Alex got the ball in advantage because our defense worked very good. They worked very good. They worked good on the inside ball, they worked pick and roll, everything. But our weak side guy who's helping, this guy took a dribble, create something, give it to him. And a lot of teams, they look for this. 
they really look for this guy in the corner to create. Okay? Good. Receive. Receive? Okay. So, usually our rule should be, okay, I come here and I send him baseline. That way, Nico, who was doing it great, was coming out to help. That way, you rotate there and rotate. This is very good. This is how I did it for three years. But then basketball changes very quick. Very quick. And coaches supposedly were not that stupid. So what they do? They wanted the ball here with this mis with disadvantage. And I, and we saw players and we saw teams. They want this. They want this. Bring, come, attack. The middle, the middle, the middle, right. Get in front of him. Look for this. Come, do it. Hey, 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 hey. Come back. Help, look for the ball, defense. One more time. Okay. Again. Go. Oh. Okay, one more time. Come here. Perfect, stop. These four guys are defending. But the team really wants to attack that lane to bring this big guy out and create something on the other side. Okay, in Madrid, we, we thought that maybe we were a little bit smarter than everything. So we said, why we don't change this? Why we don't come back? And instead of making him defending, him rotating, him rotating, him rotating, with his four guys involved, we said, come, go back to your position, please. You're late. Look, Lucas, no? Alex, Alex. Alex receives. So when you come to, to, uh, to Alex, instead of contesting this and giving baseline, contest them and make sure you send them to the middle. That way, you, that were not doing nothing, what is good, gotta come here. So we cut the baseline. Okay, this costs me money because I have to explain Michael this for, ye for a lot of years and cost me a lot of money, but I try to explain it why I did it. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing Gabriel starts, and we're going to try to get on this closeout, okay? And make sure he doesn't go baseline, okay? Go to steal the ball, to the dribble. Good. One more time. I'll do it for you. I'll do it for you. One more time. Ready? Go, Gabriel. Good, good, good. Good, perfect. Oh! You're here. Okay? Perfect. Do it again. I'll do it. I'll do it for you. Okay? Good. 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 Right there. Go for that ball. That's a steal. Did I foul you? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think I found you. Okay? So we create, out of our defense, situation where we could get steals, knowing that if we're here and we're cutting one lane, we also can get this charge. If he goes to the middle, we can attack this dribble here. We can make this guy a shorter cut between two. This guy doesn't leave two supposedly good shooters, and Nico doesn't have to come out all the way to stop the sideline penetration. Okay? Okay, thank you. Please sit down. So, 